Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share three stories with you that are so unnatural and disturbing that there's no way to wrap a sane mind around them. So if they terrify you, I apologize. But at least you weren't there with a front row seat to the horror unfolding before you and the only one who could do anything to stop it. According to police in Albion, Michigan, a frantic 911 call came in on June 24th of 2023 with children screaming for help. When police responded to the address of the caller, they found a terrified 15-year-old and an 8-year-old who directed them to a locked bathroom in their home. Police said they could hear commotion behind the door, so they kicked it in and found a woman drowning a toddler in the bathtub. One of the officers grabbed the baby and began doing CPR as the other took the woman into custody. When the toddler began breathing, the officer saw that the child was also bleeding from stab wounds to her chest and throat. They also found a four-year-old boy in the home who was suffering from multiple cuts to his little body. The two older children appeared to be unharmed. The two little ones were transported to the hospital as well as their 35-year-old mother, who claimed she ingested cleaning fluid. After the two- and four-year-olds were stabilized, they were then flown to Ann Arbor for further treatment because it was believed the children were given the cleaning fluid and ingested it as well. Police determined the woman they arrested is the mother of all four of the children they found in the home, and her 15-year-old daughter, acting quickly to call for help, saved the lives of her younger siblings. This horrific, unexplainable act occurred just a little over a month after another brave teen who was awoken in the middle of the night on May 19th of 2023 in her South Carolina home to her eight-year-old sibling's screams found her mother trying to drown her sister in the bathtub too. Desperate to save her younger sister, the brave 16-year-old fought her mother and was able to wrestle the eight-year-old away from her and run with her away from their home to a nearby relative's house. Police said she was able to call 911 for help from the relative's house because her six-year-old sister was still in her home with her mother. But unfortunately, by the time they arrived on scene, they found the six-year-old not breathing. She had been drowned by her mother. Emergency personnel performed CPR, but she was pronounced dead at the hospital. 37-year-old Jamie Bradley Brunn was arrested and charged with murder and the attempted murder of her own children and is being held without bond. And if these unbelievable stories have not made you click off just yet, I have just one more for you. Only the precious little victim in this story didn't have a brave older sibling to save her. I wish she had, but she didn't. She didn't have anybody, and she never had a chance. She was just 16 months old, and she was left alone to fend for herself for eight days. According to police in Cleveland, Ohio, 31-year-old Crystal Candelario admitted to leaving her precious 16-month-old baby girl home alone for a period of 8 to 10 days. Yeah, you heard me right. 8 to 10 days in June of 2023, while she vacationed in Puerto Rico and Detroit. Just left her alone to dehydrate, starve to death, and God knows what else, while she flew off to have a good old time. We don't have many more details about this case yet, so we don't know if she traveled alone or with friends who may have asked her where her precious daughter Jalen was. But all she would have to do is lie and say she was with the babysitter. So nobody would have known that she was suffering, no doubt terrified, and in danger. Police said when Candelario returned home from her vacation, she found little Jalen unresponsive so she called 911. When police arrived on scene, they found baby Jalen deceased and found her playpen was soaked with urine and feces. Her monster 
was arrested and charged with her murder and is due in court on June 28th for a pretrial hearing. Please join me in praying for the victims in these stories and for the siblings that bravely took measures to save their family members in terrifying situations. They are heroes, but they will forever be scarred by what they witnessed and the fear they overcame in those horrific moments when they realized that the person meant to love and nurture them, to protect them, was actually their greatest enemy. Stories like these should not exist at all. Or at most, they should be incredibly rare. Yet here we are, with three of them, all within the span of one month. And these are only the ones I've read about. There are so many more we never hear about which is probably a good thing. Because sometimes, I wonder how many more of these sick, twisted nightmares we can truly take. Thank you all so very much for listening, and I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you on my next video.